Price was good. What's up, man? How's it going? I'm living, bro. Peace. So, first of all, where you from, man? I'm originally from Portland. Portland, VA? Yeah, Portland, Virginia. Heard that. So, uh, I see you got the little rock star aesthetic, man. Like, that's kind of different from a person coming from Portsmouth. Yeah. Like, the whole fingernails and, you know what I mean? Lap, the lipstick. Yeah, yeah. So, what is that about? I mean, I'm just comfortable in my own skin, you know? Do you have any type of people, like, try to harass you, judge you, like, like, nigga, what the fuck you doing? Yeah, like, since birth. I mean, how long you been, like, wearing fingernail polish and lipstick? Uh, maybe since. I've been wearing fingernail polish maybe about seven years. And I've been um, wearing uh, lipstick for maybe about uh, two months. Two months? Yeah. I mean, what, what makes you comfortable with doing that? I just do what I want. Whatever makes me feel good, I just do it. You know? So, you make, like, rock star music. I mean, what, what type of music would you explain it? And, like, what genre? Oh, well, I, I uh, tend to feel as if um, I'm the creator of my own genre. Like, I make my own music. And it's, like, uh, punk and trap. Blended. So, where did the punk come into play? True, true. I mean, like, so, well, since I've been younger, I'll... I always had a, a a taste for different different music and uh fucking um yeah like I I feel like trap is dead and so like I just wanted to you know subculture it and like mix it with something that I like something that I uh, that I'm comfortable with something that I find familiar. So, what kind of inspired you to make punk music? Uh, like, is there any type of bands? Fucking, not really, not a band specifically, but it would be like, um, like DMX. DMX? Yeah, Rough Rise. Would you compare your music to DMX? I mean, I definitely feel the energy, but as far as like the whole guitar thing, that's something new. Yeah, I mean, I fuck with Marilyn Manson. And, uh, Five Finger Death Punch, Green Day, and shit like that. How long you been making punk music? Punk I trap mean, music, excuse I made me. My first punk record uh, when I first got out of prison. That was like 2020. So you served time in prison? Right. For what? What did you do? Uh, well, I was on a run for three years. Damn. I mean, it, can you discuss it? Or is it like something that you you can't yeah, really... I don't really give a fuck to discuss. You know? Not to disrespect and shit. But I don't care to discuss it. I was just running. You know? So was you like in prison, like making music? Yeah, like everybody knows me for like being in my cut and uh, beating on the wall, you know. And I bring a bring a big crowd, you know, in the pod, bring a big, a real big uh, crowd, just beating on the wall, dealing with other artists behind the wall too. Do you know any artists that like any other black artists that's into uh, punk rock? That's local. So you feel like you're the only one that's in the area? They, they haven't revealed themselves to me. Not yet. I know they're here, though. Like, how how is, like, people receiving you being, like, a black punk rock star? Well, uh, uh, better than, than, than none. You know, better than few. There's a few people that don't don't understand, don't understand at all. I feel like that's okay too. I'm just glad they're present though. Uh, I don't think that we got into the uh, the whole Christ Dick thing. What, where did that come from? 
Like, I mean, I'm the originator of a whole lot of shit. And, and uh, like Christ. Yeah. But I mean, I would break it down more. Like, like Christ. Christ means the anointed one. And anoint means to smear with oil. And dick is like... My dad's name is Richard. And uh, a nickname for Richard is Dick. And, and I used to be a simp, but I like to think of myself more now as a dick, you know, like a phallus. So when you put it together, Christ dick, like what does it actually mean to you? How? Control. Like, are you worried about like the religious groups that's going to come to you like, hey man, you can't use that? Because, you know, some people actually look at it far as like... Well, I, I, I wouldn't know what they look at it as, but some people uh, feel that there's power in words. Words? Facts? I know that to be true. So is it just like, I don't know, just to get the people riled up? Or is it just, does Christ dick have a different meaning to you? That's a deeper meaning, but, um, but it would be more to rile people up, to get them going, to get them thinking. Because I don't feel like people think enough. So, living in Portsmouth, Virginia, how was that like being, you know, a person that's into, that's into punk? I mean, it's, it's, Portsmouth is okay. Like, um, it's been comfortable, for real. It's like, it's what I know, it's like my home. Like I, I, I ain't under pressure when I'm in the city, but you might be under pressure in my city. You know, uh, I've been doing the same shit for years, so you know, I'm just recognized for being myself. So uh, it was a few songs that I actually uh, saw, like uh, there was Chick-fil-A, then you did uh, the Tiny Mike, with my block also uh what's the other one uh pissed off where is those songs coming from i wrote them uh like in in during real life you know like i was inspired by events right before i approached the mic like pissed off what what event drew that Blood take too long. <laughs> so you were just looking for some drugs and like, like what the fuck? Not looking for them. buying them uh, uh, from from a specific. And fucking, it just take too long to to show up. You know, you know how that is. When the plug take too long, you just you yeah, yeah. you made a whole song. <laughs> you no, know, when you do what you want, you know you you want you want shit to be the way you want it, the way you want it. Yeah. Or, or, or it's a problem Or you pissed off yeah. Chick-fil-A What about that one? Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A was inspired by I wouldn't say uh, any exact events But um, If you could relate to it It's like a uh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't care. To, I don't care to explain shit for that. Like, I use a lot of words on that song. You know, a few, a few to, to project how I felt about a particular matter. Some I went viral on dog though, so a lot of people know. So, I was thinking like, are you rapping or is it just, what is it? What is your music? Uh, it's like uh, I want. I don't want to classify. Never wanted to classify myself as a rapper, but like I can rap. But I would rather scream my lyrics than uh than be more subtle. I would rather definitely scream my lyrics to be more subtle. Uh, to change the hurts. Uh, in, the, in the room or, or whatever, to, you know, change the vibes to let you feel. 
So are you like you say change the vibes? Is that like you big on energy? Word, I'm just trying to get in your head. Cause when I listen to like your music, especially uh, pissed off, it's it's more of a emotion thing, like a feeling thing. So was that like the the target that you were trying to hit, or was it like no, you motherfuckers need to listen to what I'm saying actually? Uh, no, it was just like uh, it's like moshing almost, you know, just releasing. It's like a workout basically, you know. So like when I play pissed off, I'm like not. Nah. I'm pissed off when I play pissed off, but uh, after it goes off, I'm not pissed off anymore. You know. So, so you saying that you, it just turns off? Yeah, my, like I'm, I'm okay then. You know, once I play pissed off, I'm okay. I'm, I'm no longer pissed off after I play pissed off. Do you see yourself like actually going into like the club and starting to, like a, a whole rave fight? Like, if you could, I know you said that you don't really like uh, put yourself in the box, but if you could like put yourself beside another artist, where it's like, oh, if you like this person, you'll definitely like this person. Like, who would you put yourself beside? I mean, it depends on the audience I'm speaking to. You know, you get what I mean. I mean, as far as the, the answer to the question goes, it depends on the audience I'm speaking to. Because, like, if I'm speaking to a younger audience, I would uh, say something that would cater more to their ear. And if I was speaking to it, an older audience, um, I would say something to speak more, you know, to their ear.